Hello, welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at keyboard shortcuts within Chrome extensions and how you can use a combination of keys to actually perform actions within your extension. So we'll take a quick look now at an example. So here is a, a quick extension I've put together that just will run a command when I perform um, a certain uh, collection of keys together. So for this one, it's Control, or because I'm using a Mac, it's Command, Shift, and Y. And you can see in my uh, service worker here that it's triggering this script. So all this is, is using the manifest to um, set up this listener essentially, or this, uh, this shortcut. And then in our background script, or our service worker, we're listening for this particular set of keys, so we can then run this action. So let's take a look at what this actually does. Going to our, our code editor here, we can see here is the name of our command, inject script. So if we look over here, you can see inject script is the name of this command. And then we set our suggested keys, and then you can set a description for this as well, but that's, you know, it doesn't really matter what we put in there. So this is what we have here. So if I was to change this uh, to control shift Q, for example, save this, and refresh my extension. And now I'm just gonna type in Command Shift Y like I had before. Nothing's gonna happen, but Command Shift Q. Okay, so this is a good example here. If I did Command Shift Q, that's already connected. So um, what you need to do is make sure that this uh, shortcut isn't associated with any other uh, shortcuts already. Okay, so that's how you can see uh, what your commands are. So if we go back over here, and just try this again, so Command Shift Y, you can see. So that's where we have to find out the name of our, our commands. So if we then go into our background, all we need to do is run Chrome commands on command, so very similar to message events on message, we're using on command, and then we just attach a listener here. Now this will pass in the name of the command, so if you had multiple um, shortcuts for different parts of your extension, you could then you know, have like a switch case in here to work out which, or an if statement, to work out which command this is, and you can send it off to perform another action. So it's just a quick video to give you a uh, quick overview of commands. So you can start adding keyboard shortcuts into your extension and start to really see how this can, you know, help your users, probably your, your users who are using your extension a lot, get more value out of what they're doing and be able to do it quickly um, without having to, you know, go in and open your extension they can quickly do this. This could be useful for things um, that are around tabs. So if you've got like a, a tab manager, you can just have a quick uh, command in here, you know, that could then open a new tab or open a favorite tab or something like that. So it's very similar to the uh, Omni uh, extension we looked at before, where you can add into this Omni box up here. So a, a keyboard shortcut for this could be very similar to the, the reasons you'd want to use that one. Um, and I'll put a link to that video in the description. If you've got any questions on how you can add this into your extension, feel free to drop a comment on this video and I'll be sure to take a look. Well, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.